Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M5355. It's the Tier 9 American SPG. And this one's located on the north spawn of Prokhorovka under the command of Red Dog 37. Now, that is an 8 inch so which identifies this as the M55. The gun doesn't extend over the front of the vehicle. If it did, we'd know that that's a 155mm gun. And you can see the splendid Port Arginibs colours created by Sir Rusty and provided to us. They look absolutely spectacular on this RT. We're moving off to a firing position. Moving slightly over to the west side of the map. And sitting behind a bush, pulling back just a little, and now aiming at the enemy area. We can see trees going down in the enemy rear, so we know there are some tanks moving through those trees. Lined up a shot, we find a round in. And that looks to be near where one of the enemy tanks may have been if they continued knocking trees down in that path. And we're relocating. And it could be just as simple as that. Just moving to the back of the map in a straight line. And uh, then we're ready to uh, fire again as soon as we're reloaded. And we're looking at a bush, but oh, we've got a couple of enemies over on the other side of the map. Now, the alpha damage for the 8-inch howitzer is 1,050 hit points. If it was the 155mm, it can do 700 alpha. But we've got the 8 inch here, the full cream, lined up on that IS-3, we're marking as a target, watching to see what he'll do next. And he moved slightly forward at that point, and yes he went straight into the shell as he pulled forward. So it's a really nice shot there. And we've just adjusted our position slightly, and that's all we need to do to avoid getting the counter battery. T-34-100, he's already been badly damaged. If he stays moving backwards and forwards around that spot, he will get wiped out. He is now basically splash kill for an 8-inch. But we've found an ISU-152 up on the hill, defending, hiding behind those bushes. We're lining up a shot. As soon as you see him again... Oh! Now that was another RT round from the other RT on our team, a GW. And he definitely hit target around, well, we don't know because there was an explosion, but I suspect it did actually splash the enemy. There's that T-34-100 and we're getting a request for fire on him. Bringing up the mini-map a little bit more because we like to have a big mini-map while we're playing RT. Because obviously we need to see where the targets are. And look, that ISC-152 is missing almost all of his, half his hit points have gone. He's suffering huge amount of damage, we're still getting requests for fire, we fire around him and he's killed just before our shell arrives and it makes a clang against the hull of that enemy tank and unfortunately we lose our own ISU-152 to the Lerva on the enemy team. Or was it? No, it was the, the, the Steer of Waffentrager got the kill on our T-54. Okay, we've got a standard B back of the map it's pulling into the field now we're not fully loaded yet but we're almost there and there's a T-54 lightweight making a suicide run up that road very very fast he's ducked into the field to try and avoid being hit we're lining him up to we're leading the target and it's splash hit and it was a really good splash hit and he was killed immediately afterwards we just needed somebody to pin him down and then we could put rounds into him. And that was a lovely tracking shot there. So we not only got stun assist, we also got track uh, assistance there, I think, on that uh, T-54. We certainly got stun. We didn't No, we didn't get assistance. We actually got stunned. So he must have been stunned, pulled round, repaired his track, and then got hit. Okay, we're loaded, but we're aiming for where a defender and an LT-432 routine, and now we're aiming at the back of the map. Now I think he's hunting for the enemy RT. I think he is. 
No, change targets. He's decided he's going to go for that IS. He's up in the centre line. And they're receiving a lot of fire. Now that IS is now a splash kill. Oh, beautiful shot. Got him direct hit. Not a splash kill. He got a direct hit into him. Beautifully lined up. That's his first kill. Now, 14 rounds left. He's got nine rounds of standard HE, five of premium. Uh, we're trying to get an IS-3 here, but we've lost sight of him temporarily. Instead, we're going to go for a defender who's seen over on the west side of the map. Trying to work out where he is. There he is. Oh, there's a 432. That's the light tank. So the light, ground out. Oh, direct hit and a fire. And we got the kill. We did get the kill there. Right into the side. That uh, that was a real paddling there on that LT LT432. Couldn't take that that much damage. And of course it set fire to his engine bay and he just burned up straight away. So he was probably running food or something like that and it wasn't an automatic fire extinguisher. But he's lined up now on that uh, defender and if he gets it, he'll do a lot of damage. Yep, 428. Again, another direct hit, but that time it was right on the front of the vehicle. So very good shooting here. So he's got two kills so far. IS-2, ISU-2, um, ISU, IS-2, and it looks like you could probably one-shot him if he was lucky. If he gets a direct hit, he could take him out with one shot, but we lose sight of him. And that SU-152 did not last long the moment he came into the open. There's the defender again. Come up to that roof line, line him on up, round out. Went long. Wasn't fully dialed in. It is now. I think he was worried about losing sight of the defender, which is why he fired, but the shell went long. But he did get some stun. Trouble is, which target do you go for? If you go for one that um, you really want, or you might wait for ages for it to be spotted, and the defender's now been spotted, and he's now tracked, so we can definitely hit him. Round out straight away. And it goes long again. That's RNG, I'm afraid. It overshot the target, but I'm pretty sure that would have stunned him. He's relocating just a little to avoid counter battery. Going back to where that defender was last seen. Yep, we've seen him now again. Halfway through the reload. We're definitely focusing on that defender. He must be feeling the pressure. He's still stunned. It's going to be slowing him down, slowing his reload, everything. Running him up, round out. Direct hit, kills him. So that's our third kill. Unfortunately, there's nobody we can platoon with to get a brothers in arms. In fact, actually, we have platoon with the C-54. And of course, he's now dead, so no chance of getting a brothers in arms anyway. Just a quick reload, uh, relocate rather. Now we're aiming for that standard B and I think the IS-2 might be over that side. There he is. Oh, he didn't go over that side. He's actually still in the center of the map. Lined up a shot, round out. Bam, a splash kill. 86 hit points. It landed some distance behind him, but the splash was enough to take him out of the game. He must have suffered damage from somebody else. And so that's our fourth kill. Two more, we get a top gun. Already got 1.7k of damage. Right, they're moving, our team are moving south rapidly. There is a Tiger 1 somewhere on the west side in the south. We found a steel Waffentrager up on the railway line. We're driving in on him, but he knows he's been spotted. His sixth sense must have gone off because he darted out of there pretty quickly the moment, three seconds after he was seen. And he looks like he's been tracked. Round out and kill shot. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 213 hit points. That's the fifth kill. 
We're one short of getting a top gun now. And that Tiger One has taken a bit of damage. He's at 148 hit points. A splash would be enough to take him out of the game. I think that's where we're going next. Because that would be a nice top gun. There he is. Almost there. Oh, he was wiped out. But there's a standard B at the back as well. And there's probably still the enemy RT. An M53. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Just seen him. We saw his tracer. Took out the enemy RT, or one of them. The other one's an M12. Oh, we just lost one of our teammates, the SU-152. We're going after the standard B. Gonna see if we can get a Radley's. Lining up. Oh, the standard B's down. That means there's only two enemies left, an M12 and a Type 59. And the Type 59 was seen on the east side of the map. The M12's just been killed, so Radley's is now out of the question. I think we we think that the M12, uh, the standard B might be at the back, or the Site 59. Oh no, he's been seen. He's over on the east side. He has been seen. He's over by the railway tracks. And looks like Red Dog is celebrating already because he's dead anyway. So Top Gun. That was nice. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a first class tank for Red Dog 37 in the M53, M55. He also picked up a Reaper medal for getting three kills in a row with single shots, uh, or consecutive vehicles in a kill with a single shot each. He set fire to the LT432, of course, so he got an arsonist badge on that one. And he got a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 21. He also picked up a Gauze medal for getting more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and a top gun for getting at least six kills. And that's a nice collection of medals for that uh, game. Got a win eight of 5149. Very, very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, we can see he came top of the table on damage, 3,751 hit points. Next high score was the T28. He managed to get 2,759, and he picked up a steel wall. Uh, and then after that came the Samur, managed to get 2,455. Um, and then obviously we need to look at kills. And he's topped the table again with six. Uh, got uh, three kills for the T28 and then got the standard B on the enemy team. Managed to get two kills. Everybody else is with one. And when it came to base XP, unfortunately, uh, Red Dog didn't manage to get top of the table there. He only got 1,030. The T28 managed to get 1,054. Uh, so he just tops out. And then the Lerva managed to follow up them up with 861. So we can see that Red Dog managed to fire 14 rounds. He got seven direct hits, seven penetrations, six splash, damage of 3,751 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. Uh, he actually damaged 10 of the enemy, two thirds of the enemy team, but killed six of the enemy. That's two fifths of the enemy team. He also did stun assistance damage of 328 hit points of eight stuns. On a standard account, he earned 30,056 credits. And after ammunition resupply, and the ammo uh, is fairly expensive at this level, 26,180 for the cost of the shells. He actually only ended up with 3,876 uh, credits left over. He did pick up seven bonds for getting all those awards. And he also earned base XP of 1,030 times two for the first victory. Took away 2,060 experience points altogether. But a very nice top gun. In fact, a nice set of medals altogether. And it's just a pity it's not an ace tanker. But I think you probably need to do a fair bit more damage in order to get an ace tanker in the M5355. Because it is such a popular arty. A lot of people play it and a lot of people like it. So uh, that's why the, the standard is very, very high. Because if you are a good arty player, lots of people use this arty. They think it's a great arty. I've got one myself. I love it. It really is great fun. After the M44, this is my next favourite RT. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.